A new study in science investigates the wisdom of crowds. Well, schools. We use these fish called golden shiners. They're little minnow-like fish. They really like dark, shady habitat. That's Princeton graduate student Andrew Bertel. And as he was saying, shiners like the shade, maybe as a way to hide from predators. So we took advantage of that, and we would put them in a couple meter by a couple meter tanks, and then we projected movies down onto the bottom of their tank, just dark and light patches moving around. That's what you're looking at now. And the main result was that larger groups were able to track the darker areas much more effectively than smaller groups. It's sort of a demonstration of collective sensing. But how do fish pool their senses? To figure this out, Bertel and his colleagues wrote algorithms that tracked fish individually, their location, speed, heading, and they found that an individual fish's swimming behavior seemed to be governed largely by two simple rules. Their speed was most strongly influenced by the light level. The fish move faster in light patches than in dark ones, but the direction of their turning was by far most strongly influenced by where their neighbors were. They turned towards their neighbors. They tried to stick together. And when the researchers created simulated fish schools, programming the individuals to swim only by these simple rules, the bigger groups tracked the dark better in much the same way as real fish did. So that was a nice proof of principle for us that the ingredients that I described to you were enough for the fish to have a collective awareness 